Hello my dolls and welcome once again to more Chelly Tips and Tricks with me, the Cello Doll. This video is talking about weight in our right arm, which is also known as our bow arm, and how it can really help us combat playing tension. I told you guys there were gonna be so many of these. If we really focus on our natural body weight and the sense of gravity, it is really going to save us a lot of problems down the road. And if I'm going along on this A and I want it to be louder, sometimes when I was younger, my shoulder would come up and I would work so hard and I would push and I would push and I would push and it's not good. I was so young, I must have been nine or 10 years old, my shoulders would feel tight after I played and I would go to bed at night with this tight muscle clenching in my chest and I was thinking, what is going on with my body? I shouldn't be having these problems. And what really fixed it for me was when the concept of natural body weight and gravity was incorporated into my lessons and I was mature enough to understand that. So so an example of that is if you wanted to lay your arm on a table. You just let your arm flop on down and it sits because the table is holding up your arm. You don't have to push your arm into the table. Another example is when you were a kid or maybe even now, who knows, and you would hang from the monkey bars. You don't pull down on the bars on purpose, you would just let your body hang. And these are feelings we need to have in our bow arm in relation to the cello. So how does that even work? Well, remember my table analogy. Think of the string as the table for your bow and your bow arm. An exercise you can do is have your arms down by your sides. Your bow is in your hand. I have my bow hand shape as if I'm about to play, but you're making sure your bow doesn't smack the floor, please. And I'm going to have my hand slowly creeping up right next to my leg. My elbow is by my hip. And I'm gonna bring my frog to the C string. My elbow's pretty darn low. Then I'm gonna just bring my stick a little up and I'm on the G. See how low my elbow is and I'm still on the G string. What about the D? And then the A. I'm looking down and I'm seeing would I clear the next lowest string. So you can actually keep your elbow pretty low across the strings and you can do a couple rolls making sure the arc is not wild. Because I see players and they think they have to do this if they're on the A string. No. <laughs> the reason your bow doesn't get stuck on the D string, your wrist acts as support and helps to give you a little bit of elevation. So what you can do next is go back down to that C. Think of your arm like a floppy fish, down as low as it can be. And we're just going to pull out a C string. Slowly lift up your arm. Think of your elbow coming up and you're going to hear the G. We call this a double stop, two notes at once. Now leave the C, just bring it up millimeters by millimeters until you just have a G. sudden and abrupt. We're keeping that tiny arc as we move across the strings. Now the A gets added in. And then we're going to leave the D. Now, if you are trying to do a full bow and you hear some of the D, Ah, uh, we got a little too low, so just a little higher. Little baby, baby increments. 
because I really encourage a lower elbow to always stay in touch with that feeling of gravity. You don't have to do a huge amount of force pressing down because that is what can make your body tense. But if you sink down into the instrument, there's no need for effort. You sink and we pull out the note. I hope those tips were very helpful, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Cello Doll channel so you can see all of my tips. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you dolls soon. Bye!